Modern day statue of liberty. Modern day statue of liberty. Come on, sir. Ancient Babylon was known for enslaving God's people and putting them under Babylonian practices. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who brought the slaves over here? Wasn't it the nations of Europe that brought the slaves over here? Wasn't it the nations of Europe that enslaved the, 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 the people and brought them here to build this country? Everything he's saying which qualifies America as, as being Babylon, these same qualifications, these same credentials fits Europe itself. So how in the world could just America be Babylon? Why, are he, why isn't he saying flee Europe? They keep the pagan customs. You have people in China now keeping the pagan customs. All right? You have people, and, and you know, you got Britain who came over and, and who's the mother of America. How is it then that America is just Babylon? Why isn't he saying flee all of Europe? Flee all of Europe. Notice his qualifications again, people. Excuse me for beating the dead horse here. But notice his qualifications. And I just want you to pay attention to this because this is this is this is this right here is just hypocritical. That Babylon would and you may ask what's hypocritical? What hip what's what I mean by hypocritical hypocritical is how can he use these uh how can he use this, these credentials to say this makes America Babylon because they keep the same customs, because they keep the same holidays, because they enslave God's people? How can you just say this criteria, is, this makes America Babylon, but all of Europe, all of Western Europe did the same thing? You had 10 nations at least who was a part of the Roman Empire who followed the same customs as the papacy. Why in the world isn't Italy and Germany and Britain and France and all of these other nations um, a part of Babylon? Huh? That's my question. And, uh, and my question is that because of this statement. Because America will already be destroyed. Some might question whether or not America is Babylon. You're right, we question it. But this is Babylon. Okay. The same rituals. Huh. It came over from the Holy Roman Babylonian Church. That's Holy what Roman Babylonian Church. It, holds, it came over from the Holy Roman Babylonian Church. That's what it is. Oh. They have the same rituals. It came over from the Holy Roman <laughs> Babylonian Church. That's what it is. All of Europe kept the same rituals, then, sir. All of Europe kept them same rituals. They should be called Babylon too, sir. It holds the same practices, the same holidays, the same wor worshiping of God, the goddess Asterisk, which is your modern day statue of liberty. Oh my God. Ancient Babylon was known for enslaving God's people and putting them. Ancient Babylon was known for enslaving the people. Bear with me for a minute, people, please. The Holy Roman Babylon, the same okay. wor oh, worshiping this. of God, the goddess Asterisk, All right, same which is your modern day holidays. statue of liberty. All right. Ancient Babylon was known for enslaving God's people and putting them under Babylonian practices. Modern day statue of liberty. Notice this. Ancient Babylon. Ancient Babylon was known for enslaving God's people and putting them under Babylonian practices. Now, his purpose of saying that is that America has slaves. But see, America wasn't America wasn't established until 1776, if I'm not mistaken. The slave trade began officially you know you have uh, various documents but uh you know the document that i have like one document that i have is uh it's called black cargoes all right it's written by daniel p mannix all right and uh he gave the date as early as 1518 there was no america in 1518 okay and then you have from 1518 to 1618 a whole hundred years and there was still no america but you had slave trade okay then you have from 1618 to 1718, and there was still no America. You're talking 200 years of slave trade, two centuries of slave trade that went on between the Dutch, the French, the Portuguese, the British, I mean, you, the, the Spanish, you, you name it. Now, the British, the Spanish, the French, 
the Dutch and the Portuguese and all these nations all right what did they practice they practiced the same pagan customs right they were enslaving the children of Israel from our understanding that's that's who was being trafficked from the west coast of Africa and from various parts of Europe there was no America then this traffic was being carried on by Europe Europe all right and Great Britain had a lot of stake in America all right before there was America Great Britain laid claims on this land over here as well as up in Canada but the slaves went to the West Indies they went to Jamaica they went to South America they went to Mexico they were all over how is it then that America alone is Babylon there was a, see Richard what you're saying all right the credentials you just gave to prove that America is Babylon these same credentials fit all of Europe notice this people notice this again the same credentials he's going to give here is the same credentials that fits all of Europe but it's ironic that he's not calling Europe itself Babylon some might question whether or not America is Babylon but this is Babylon. Okay. The same rituals. Notice rituals. That came over from the Holy Roman Babylonian Church, but that's what it is. And he did call the Roman Church Babylonian, which basically puts a schism in his whole argument. It holds the same practices, the same holidays. The same practices, the same holidays, he said. The same wor worshiping of God, the goddess Asterisk. The same worship of the goddess Asterisk or the goddess of fertility. The same practices. All of Europe kept these same practices of the Roman Church. All of Europe, of Western Europe. All right. Uh, let's continue. Which is a modern day statue of living. Ancient Babylon was known for enslaving God's people. Now he want to get into the slave trade. All of Europe participated in the slave trade before there was an America. Okay. This was before they even found 13 colonies. All right, or, or what became the 13 states or whatever. Slave trade went on in Europe way before then. Everything you just gave, again, every, I just wanted to drive this home to the public. Everything he just named fit the criteria of Europe. But he's not calling Europe Babylon. Putting them on the Babylonian practices. That's happening now when we celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, 4th of July, Mother's Day, Easter, you name it. These are pagan Babylonian holidays. This is Babylon. And when you read Psalms 137, it tells you that the children of Israel was cried under the willow tree, living in the virgin daughter of Babylon. So yes, is this ancient Babylon? No. No. But it's All right. the virgin daughter of Babylon. Alrighty, now he have no scriptures to support this. And we have people who call and say, okay, the America isn't ancient Babylon, it's the daughter of Babylon another deception they don't even know what the term daughter of Babylon means but these guys are running out teaching and their students are repeating this stuff alright the daughter of Babylon is the same or the daughter of the Chaldees is the same terminology used for the daughter of Zion alright we're going to address this real quick so before we go further I just want to reiterate again his, his final uh, stamp that America is Babylon even though he just finished giving all of the evidence that Europe also is Babylon even though he done gave this evidence already whether he know it or not he's going to try to bring it back to just America everything he just named Europe was keeping before they were doing before there was an America and yet he even called the Roman Church Babylon which again it damages his whole argument if people pay attention to that these are pagan Babylonian Holidays. This is Babylon. This is Babylon. So he have no no proof. He just said, you know, after he said that, he said, this is Babylon. So you really have no scriptorial evidence. And the evidence he just named points out Europe. All right. But let's continue. Holidays. This is Babylon. Uh -huh. And when you read Psalms 137, it tells you that the children of Israel was cried under the willow tree living in the virgin daughter of Babylon. So yes, is this ancient Babylon? No. But it's the virgin daughter of Babylon. It's the daughter of 
ancient Babylon. The same practice, correct? Brothers and sisters, daughter, okay? What, what, what does it mean by daughter of Babylon? All right. See, this is it's really necessary for us to understand definitions. Bear with me a minute. Here in the concordance, the Hebrew word bath is what is used to describe the daughter. Whether you were talking about the daughter of Zion, the daughter of Babylon. All right. Look, bath. All right. The definition carries as a um, of wide senses, and I have a lot of terms. And these are some of the terms in which is used. Daughter. It also can be applied as towns, all right, or a village. The towns and villages of a society or a kingdom is called its daughter, all right, and also its children, okay. So what he's seeing, or what you could. The after Nebuchadnezzar, the next king that rose up in Babylon, and the king after him, all the way down to Belshazzar, and Belshazzar's kingdom that you read about in the book of Daniel, Daniel was dwelling in the daughter of Babylon. Why? Because Belshazzar and the generation that was dwelling in the land of the Chaldeans at that time were descendants or children of the generations that dwelt during the days of Nebuchadnezzar. So Daniel dwelt in the daughter of Babylon. All right. So when you talk in daughter of Babylon, don't let people deceive you with that either. It means towns or villages or children, the children of a place, just like the daughter of Zion. The daughter of Zion existed during the days of the daughter of Babylon. All right, so it's a common term in the Bible. You can't say the daughter of Zion is just us here. No, the daughter of Zion were the children of Zion. The, ch the daughter of Babylon were the children of Babylon. All right, still not pointing out just America. He already ruined his case with that when he described the customs of the Pope and the, and the slave trade as being... The criteria to point out Babylon, he already destroyed himself with that. Because everything he named trying to accuse America is what America mother did before her. And that is Western Europe. That too then is a part of the Babylonian system. And that's what we're saying. America is just a part of a global Babylonian system. Alright? And we're going to find out what it means to come out of her. Uh, briefly. So bear with me as we continue to listen to some more of his argument. So yes, is this ancient Babylon? No. But it's the virgin daughter of Babylon. Belshazzar kingdom was the daughter of Babylon, sir. Alright? Deception, man. Right? But he called himself a teacher. It's just interesting how he is a he, he's uh leaving all this out. That Belshazzar kingdom was the daughter of Babylon also. And the kingdom before Belshazzar was the daughter of Babylon. But however, let's continue. Another, I mean, just false. It, so far, what this cat is preaching is, is, a, is, is as false as a $3 bill. Daughter of ancient Babylon. The same practices, correct? So we're going to go right to it. Let's go to Jeremiah, I mean, let's go to uh, Revelation 18. And let's start at the first verse. Revelations 18 and 1. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils. It says, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils. Now when it comes to a society, a society right. is either Bear with me. Progressive or One regressive. Minute. Babylon the greatest fallen. There is no now, right? middle ground. We're going to try to skip past some of the society. Talk. Now he's going to go further into his uh, uh, um, argument as far as America being Babylon. And again, what he's about to name fits many countries, if not all the countries on the planet. 